Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can create a variable product in WooCommerce. With a variable product in WooCommerce, you can create a product with more sizes, more colors, more of anything that you decide as a variable in your product. So let's get started. I have my WooCommerce website over here. I installed WooCommerce already and I have my shop. I only have one product in the last tutorial I had created one simple product and now we're going to create a variable product. How can you do that? You hover over new over here when you're logged in and you click on product. That's it. Then make sure you have a good title. Don't call this a uh, product number one. No, people search for things and you want to be found. So you can say a t-shirt if you're selling a t-shirt or you say a comfortable t-shirt or a crew neck t-shirt. Well, this is a crew neck t-shirt. I think this is also, let me put it off. <laughs> Why should I do that now? Crew neck t-shirt. So what we have over here below is a big description. So if you want to have a description, we can go and write something beautiful about this product. And that will be below in the product area of the product page. I will show you in a minute. So what I do, I go to the dummy text generator. I'm so happy with this auto correction stuff. So over here, this website, I can grab a piece of text. I can paste it here and I can create a new paragraph if I want to. So if I would publish this, and I'm doing that. I can view the product. I hold command or control on the PC to see the product. Wow. Uncategorized the title. This stuff is all has all to do with the cadence theme I use. Uh, I can remove this or you don't see this, but if you use the cadence theme, in my opinion, the best free theme for WordPress you can have this extra information. So then there's a long description, as I said below, we can also have a short description over here below the title in order to get that. We need to scroll down and then over here, the product short description when you buy, wear this t-shirt, it feels like you are sitting in a bath full of honey. I think that's a nice feeling. Never tried it, but let's say something like that if you want to. And you can have a short description. And if I update it and I refresh this page, you will see the text over here. So now let's go to the serious stuff. Over here between the long description and the short description, we have the product data. And we can have a few different kinds of products, a simple product, group, external affiliate product, or a variable product. Well, in this video, we'll talk about a variable product and here we can create a stock keeping unit. If you want to know more about the things over here, you can hover over the question mark. If you are selling a t-shirt that's already been sold on the internet, for instance, a crew neck t-shirt. And for instance, I'm selling this t-shirt. Well, I can do then, even though it's a Dutch website, I can scroll down until I find the code, the SKU for this uh, product. Every product should have a SKU. Well, in this case, it's just a simple SKU 236. But if I would go to a different website, if you're selling a Nike t-shirt, for instance, again, love this option. I skip the ads and I go over here to nike.com and I go to a certain product. If I'm selling this product on my website, I would like to use this over here, the stock keeping unit or the, the, the code of this, because if at Nike.com this is out of stock and people search for this code, they can go, you see, it's all the same now. They can go to my store. So that's what you can do. I sell my own kind of t-shirts. So I want to say 00002 because that's my stock keeping unit number. Do we want to manage stock? Yes, but since we're talking about variables, it means that every size, every color has their own stock. So I will leave it empty over here. I do enable it, but I leave this area empty. And when something is almost out of stock, what should happen? If something is out of stock, uh, should I allow back order so people can still sell, uh, buy things on my website, even though it's out of stock. And then I need to make sure I get those new products as soon as possible and send it to the client. Right now it says do not allow. So when something is out of stock, you cannot buy it. Or you say allow it, but notify the customer like, okay, you can buy this, but 
we're in the middle of uh, purchasing this again, so it can take a while or just allow it and make sure you send it as soon as possible to the client. I say, do not allow. What I do want when I have only five t-shirts left, let's say a uh, t-shirt white XS, when I have only five in stock left, then I want to get an email like, hey, keep in mind that your stock is very low of this product. I can also say sell individually. If you turn this on, you can only buy one thing of this product and not like five or 10. So then we have shipping. Uh, I have a tutorial about shipping, but here we can say what the weight is of the t-shirt. An XS t-shirt is lighter than the XXL. So we can also change this later at the variables. So I, I leave it as it is. Then we have upsells. You can also say, okay, there's a better t-shirt. And if you have a different t-shirt, you can say uh, you should uh, buy this one instead because it's better quality if you want to do that. And then is there the cross sell. If you select the product over here and people buy this t-shirt and they go to the cart, there's no card yet, but if they go to the card, they can see a different product like, hey, you can also buy this. So based on what they buy over here, you can say, hey, you should also buy this product uh, hoodie. Yeah, this will pop up in the card. I'll show you in a minute. So then we have attributes. And this is important here. We can say what kind of attributes the product should have. So it can have a different size, different storage, different color. Uh, I want to add a new attribute. So I click on add. I can give it a name. Well, of course, the size. And then here we can add the values. Don't know what this is doing. Okay. I can say XS and then I need to have a, a pipe. I think it's called a pipe over here and then small, medium, large, extra large and extra, extra large and extra, extra, extra large. Okay. I need it to be visible on the product page and I need it to be used for variations. I save the attributes. So we have an attribute size and we can add a second attribute and combine those attributes with each other. So I click on add and then there can be color. I will have two colors, white and black. I use it for variations. So I save the attributes and based on those two attributes, we can go to variations, which is a tab below. And then we can click over here and say, create variations from all those attributes. So there will be a, a different product like XS with black, XS white, uh, small white, small black. So a lot of variations and we can create them automatically. So we click over here and then we click on go. Yes. And as you see, there are 14, 14 variations added. Awesome. So if I open this one, excess white, we can give it some information, but we can also do that for all the products, all the different variations. So if I click over here, I can toggle manage stock for instance, because right now the stock is not matched. So if I click toggle stock over here, over manage stock, click on go. Now all the stock is uh, enabled. But now we need to say how much stock we have. So let's say you buy five products or 10 products of every different variable that are one of the 40 t-shirts in total. Then I can say over here, stock, go, and then I can say the value. And I don't know what happened, but it was turned off. Never fail me again. I bought you with a reason. Come on. Don't leave me here with those people. Come on. Okay. That was weird. Are you still enjoying this video? If you like this video, you can like it. You can subscribe for more upcoming videos. Okay. The value I enter is 10 for every t-shirt. So I say, okay. And over here I can click on expand. And what you'll see now, the stock is managed with every single product and the stock quantity is 10. Okay. I update it. Okay. So when somebody buys five and let's go to variations, when XS white is being bought five times, I will only have five in stock left. And when we go to inventory, it will say, send me an email like, Hey, there are only five in stock left. So that's how it works. Let's go back to variations and I open XS white. It's not downloadable. It's not virtual. 
of course I need to have a price. So all those t-shirts, I want to give them one price. So I can click on add variation and then I can go to the price. Where is it? I need to scroll down, I think. Of course, set the regular price. Go. The regular price is $19.95. Okay. So for all those 14 variations. So if I click on a random one, it will say $19.95. But the excess, I want to give them a, a discount. A sale. So excess white, I can say sale price $17.95. And also access black seventeen ninety five. Then I scroll up, I update it, and I refresh this page. Now it says seventeen ninety five until nineteen ninety five. So if I would say I want to buy a middle size with a white color, it will say ninety ninety five. But if I say you know what, excess, then it's seventeen ninety five. So over here you can have different settings for all those different products so let's see the weight you can change it for x s it's smaller or lighter than uh, 3xl and can give a description of everything when they purchase it uh, on the card or the, the checkout you can have a description if you want to so what i want to do i want to give everything an image so i go to the product image over here and I click on upload files. I go to my computer, select files. I have a folder over here. You can, and here you can find your image you want to show. So I say t-shirt white front open. Product, set product image. Then I scroll down to the product gallery. I click over here and I want to add three other images. So I click on upload files, select files. And then there are t-shirt black back t-shirt black front and t-shirt white back open them and we can add them to the gallery and if i click on update and i refresh the page you'll see an image over here nice we can go over here to the second one and the third one we can zoom in click over here zoom in navigate through the images press escape to go back and if I say I want to have the size S and the color white, I see this white t-shirt. But if I would say black, it's, st it's still white. So what I want to do, when I select the color black, I want to, the black image to appear. So how can I do that? Well, over here, I can go to the variations, expand everything and everything that is white. I click over here and I get the white front. Everything that is black, I get the dark one. Let me see if it's uh, the front, of course. So I click here, white front, black front. You need to do this only once, and then it will be automatic. When people select the black t-shirt, they will see a black t-shirt. When they select the white t-shirt, they will see a white t-shirt. Or whatever you're selling, you can decide per variation what kind of image you want to show. And there we are almost XSL black, 3XL white, 3XL black. So scroll up all the way, update it. Let's take a look, a refresh. So right now we have nothing. So it shows the image we have decided over here. Then I say I want to have an S with the color white. Nothing happens, but if I say black, wow, look at this. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And if I say black and XS, it becomes 1795. So in that way, you can change everything individually, but you also can do imagine or, or assuming the most people have the size M or L, you can decide to buy only seven extra small t-shirts and if you go to m you can have 15. so depending on what you think is good what will happen when you do your market research how much of which size should you buy so you don't have too much left or you don't have 
uh, not enough t-shirts or the product you promote. So we can add a review. I can say awesome t-shirt. And if I take a look, refresh, it's looking a little bit weird. If I myself have a review over here, pretty corpse hook, awesome t-shirt. But also other people can leave a review, leave a rating, and they need to leave their email address in order to do this. But I'm logged in. So if I would take, take a look over here and I go to Safari and I paste the link, I can leave a review over here and then I need to accept it and I can reply to that review. So that's what you can do. Okay, let's take a look at categories. So if you go to the product page, to the back end, here we have a category, category called uncategorized and I want to add a new category. I call this T-shirts. And I click on add a new category and automatically it will be selected. Then I uncheck uncategorized because it has a category T-shirts. I can also create a subcategory. So I can say uh, printed or T-shirts with print. I can have the t-shirts as a parent category. And in that way, if you have a really big website, you can create some structure in your category. So it's easier for the viewers or visitors to navigate through your website. It's without print. So I uncheck this. Then we have product tags. So I can say t-shirt white summer, anything you can uh, really all those related words, crew neck, bath of honey, whatever. And people search on bath of honey and they see my website. So that's how you can use tags. So if we take a look at the product, refresh t-shirts, which is the category, you can also have more categories, crew neck t-shirt, the price range, depending on what you choose. If you choose a black one, it will appear over here. You can zoom in, take a look at different images. You can put more in stock. You see XS has only seven in stock and the M has 10 in stock. We can add them to the cart. Awesome. We can view the cart if we want to. We have a description with more information, the sizes and the colors. We have reviews over here and we have this stuff that has everything to do with the cadence theme. I have a tutorial about the cadence theme. I have a tutorial about everything. You can watch them over here, over here and in the description. And um, that's awesome. If you want to view the cart, you can click over here or you can click over here and view the cart. And what I said before, here's the upsell. You may also be interested in the hoodie. That's what we decided over here at linked products. And if I would say hoodie over here, update, and we go to the website, to the shop. And I go to the t-shirt. You may also like this one. So then it will appear over here. So that's what you can do. And then uh, of course you can buy them. If you want to know everything about WooCommerce, how to create a website with it, you can go to 30corp.com, hit enter, and then go to tutorials over here and then WooCommerce tutorial. That will show you step by step how to create a complete website. It's a two hour, 45 minute video. If it's 2021, then I probably have a new tutorial over here. So you are up to date with the most recent tutorial and you can learn how to create your website from scratch your web shop. So that's what you can do. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe for more upcoming WordPress and e-commerce related tutorials. And then I would like to say thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.